Hello again everyone, it's Brandon Palak with CryoClear. Today's video topic, what we're going to talk about is analyzing the client before the CryoClear treatment. So this has to do with managing their expectations. So the first thing you might want to ask your client is whether or not they're familiar with cryotherapy at all. So they may have been treated in the past by their dermatologist with liquid nitrogen. And this is a very painful and aggressive treatment uh, that dermatologists use to treat things like warts. And often the client may be left with hypopigmentation. So what you should let your client know is that CryoClear is a very gentle treatment and it's using carbon dioxide or CO2 or dry ice and you could let them know that they're going to have a really great cosmetic outcome and it's pretty much a pain-free treatment. The next thing you might want to know is whether or not the client hyperpigments easily. So the hyperpigmentation that we're talking about is post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation or PIH and this PIH typically happens on skin types 4 through 6 and it's a result of either a cut scrape or a burn, not just a crowd clear treatment, but any sort of trauma done to those skin types, their skin, they may be left with a dark spot in its place. So if they hyperpigment easy, and you can see evidence of that hyperpigmentation by analyzing their other cut scrapes or burns on their body, they might not be the best candidate for cryo clear. So the third thing you might want to know is whether or not the spot that you're about to treat is even treatable with cryo clear, or should it be treated? So what we're working on with what we're working with with CryoClear is epidermal pigment. So we're really treating the epidermal pigment, not the dermal pigment, right? So there's two different types. There's epidermal and dermal. And a Woods lamp is the best way to determine where the pigment resides in the skin. So keep the treatment to your age spots, your sun spots, and your skin tags, and they'll be sure to have a really great cosmetic outcome in that three to four week period. So the last thing you might want to know is whether or not the client has any health issues or factors that may compromise their healings or that may create a contraindication. So if the client is aggressively diabetic or if they're on anticoagulants or if they're, even if their skin is paper thin, they might not just not be the best client for the CryoClear treatment. So those are the four things you could ask your client when analyzing them and uh, managing their expectations. The feedback on these videos has been really great. So we encourage you to continue to watch them and we look forward to pushing more content soon.